Hey guys, um, it's just on Reddit and uh, somebody was talking about film, and um, I've done quite a few uh, videos with using film, uh, frame interpretation for a lot of motion grades, so. <clears throat> um, and uh, it's really quite easy to get going. At least to start experimenting and things like that. So go to research, frame interpolation. Um, I'll put the links up in here in a bit. Um, all right. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, opening collab. <laughs> so wild, well, but there we go again. Now, I have my uh, my own copies of these things. In fact, they're all, you know, hooked in the drive and part of the pipeline and stuff like that. So, but, um, it's, you know, similar to the straight vanilla notebooks. It's all the same technology. It's just a matter of how you wire it all together. So, um, it's pretty much just as easy as the last one. So, uh, let's get this thing. Um, so I used this um, on the Feed of Phenambulus video, you can see on my YouTube channel. Um, it's, that one uses, uh, those are pretty large changes in imagery, so it's not really what uh, film is directed at. Um, film is useful very much so for uh, interpolating between frames that are within the same kind of um, flow. Um, um, just like they have on that, on the page. For film, they have the uh, the two frames that are fairly similar and they, they interpolate between them uh, and it looks really great. Um, some of the images and some of the interpolations that I did on that one film or that one video on YouTube are uh, very large changes between completely disparate images. Uh, some of them are from the depth maps and 3D and interpolating that way, which was, I'll have to get into that later. Um, but that was interesting as well. Uh, all right, so here we go. We're pretty much ready to go, right? Let's, what is that? Let's click that up. Um, we don't need to do this. So this is, if you have a video, you can do that. Um, you can go right up in here, go into your G drive. I'm not going to do that. Um, oh, hold on. We're going to stop that. Sorry. We have to restart the... Uh, let's restart the runtime. I'll rerun this cell. Um, there's an awful lot of different things you can do with um with film the command line tool is packed um right here and i don't know why people don't clear their outputs on the <laughs> uh, so all right ready to go what's what five minutes not even four minutes um, we ran. Let's do these again. It's just fine. It's already there. All right, there. All right. I'm not going to run that because I don't have a video in here. We're going to run this. I'm going to go over here and grab some pictures. So now what we're going to do, we don't need this folder here to be the one that we're going to be doing stuff with. Just create a new folder. Uh, fix. All right, let's change this to fix. Folder, fix. Or, well, you do it over here. Sorry, I'm 
I prefer this. Um, now let's throw some pictures in there. Uh, let me grab, let me just grab two pics real quick. You got to make sure they are the, or that they are the same. That's fine. All right, I think these are the same chart. That's fine. That'll work. And then let's rename them. Of course, if you're doing this, <clears throat> uh, well, we're going to rename them to frame, and then a number. It, you can pretty much pick whatever you really want to name it as long as it has the pattern that it's looking for which is some kind of numbering system frame uh, let's just zero one there or, yeah. all right I'm gonna move these into picks real fast let's see if we can't keep this under nine or ten minutes um, so my images are in here frame zero one Frame zero three, PNG is the same size. Uh, we're gonna do three, and let's just put this down to like sixteen there. Uh, yeah. All right. Ready, roll. Hit go. And uh, so, what I did here was, I just put two of these images. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it, it because this video doesn't, it only lets you see this one screen. That's fine. Um, I'm still working out how to do these videos. Um, and uh, I'm looking into the microphones as somebody suggested. But I wanted to get this uh, down, uh, often just for my own reference, just to remember how to quickly go through this stuff. And it, it's super easy and quick. This doesn't have to be crazy and complicated. Like to be, get going with this, to get your your feet wet, you just saw it. Drag these two pictures over here, yeah, and boom, you're done. So download. say that to desktop okay. so you're gonna get that video and it's gonna look like this um, and <laughs> it's really <coughs> all there is to it now what you're gonna definitely want to do is, is experiment with the um, the time so this is how many iterations gonna go through you're gonna end up this is uh, so Right, you get this? <laughs> Two cubed. Um, so this, oh, excuse me. So if you jump up to 10, you're in for a world of hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, that's an awful lot of frames, I'll tell you. Uh, especially, I mean, even if you have two, <laughs> you're gonna get a hell of a lot of frames. So, uh, but what you can do, and what I do very often, um, most of the time, is I actually do use the video input. So I'll do a um, an animation and with the forum, um, I'll pull out, you know, I'll send the uh, the output from that, the un um, the non upscaled output. So don't run it through really SR GAN or anything like that just yet. Um, the non upscaled output through uh, uh, through film, um, and then run that output through really a Sargan or some upscaling uh, framework of your choice, and off to post production. Um, you know, to find out where it all went wrong <laughs> and try it again. Um, anyhow, uh, when you do do the vid, um, you know, go to your G drive here, you can access your G drive. Scroll, get to wherever your video is. You right click and copy the path, put the path here, hit this button. FFmpeg is gonna break it up into individual images inside of this folder, content, 
input frames, which will be over here. Um, and then, but you don't have to run that. You don't have to do video. Just make sure you're on the frame interpolator. And then here you pretty much play right here. Set your folder, copy some stuff over, or go get uh, a video. We could con call this video out here. Let's see, copy path. Let's just do this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just do it. Um, there right you There, here's our video. Done. Let's go get that. Cool. I think that's fine. I actually didn't have to be on that, but whatever. <sighs> All right, where did it put the images? Here we go. Input frames. Copy. There's your input frame. So this is our video that we just made here. FFmpeg pulled out the frames here. We're gonna put this folder here. <laughs> All right. Um, and then there you go. All right, now we're interpolating our interpolated video. <laughs> so we started out with two frames and then we ended up with 10, nine, right there. That's interesting because that was zero frame. Um, <laughs> the, uh, oh, that makes sense. Uh, so, yeah, we're interpolating the interpolated video that we just made from those two pictures. Um, that's probably going to take a little bit of time, and you don't really want to sit around and wait for that. So, um, I'm going to let this run and, you know, make some coffee and then I'm going to come back and put it in here for you guys. All right. But I'm going to leave this going. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I might just let this keep running and tell you guys where to fast forward in the video. I don't know. Would that get me more likes or more watch time? I don't know, I'm trying to figure out this YouTube thing over here. <laughs>
All right. Enjoy. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, I'll go more in depth on all of these things. I just I want to at least start talking about this stuff. Try to get used to making these videos and getting used to the idea that a bunch of strangers are listening to my voice on the internet. Which, to be quite honest, um, uh, is a little hard. <laughs> um, all right. My nerd tickle's going off now, so I gotta go make stuff. Um, and I'll share it with all of you. Stay curious and perpetually preposterous. Take care.